Maryland grandmother sentenced after nine-year-old grandson fatally shoots teenage girl. A Maryland grandmother has been sentenced to four years in prison for failing to secure a gun used by her nine-year-old grandson to fatally shoot a teenager last year, authorities said. On September 14, a judge in Baltimore Circuit Court handed down the sentence to April Gaskins after she was convicted of reckless endangerment and firearm access by a minor, according to a press release from the Baltimore City's state attorney's office. I hope this sentence makes it clear that in the city of Baltimore, we are holding everyone accountable for their role in proliferating violence, especially violence against our children, state attorney Ivan J. Bates said. (sighs) Responsible gun ownership can be a matter of life or death for parents and guardians. On August 6, 2022, Gaskin's nine-year-old grandson was sitting on his front porch and showing off a gun in front of a group of children when it discharged striking 15-year-old Nykayla Strotter once in the head, the release states. Authorities said the boy then dropped the gun and ran away. Meanwhile, Strotter was rushed to a local hospital, where she was pronounced dead. A GoFundMe campaign created by loved ones following Strotter's untimely death claims she was defending her younger brother when she was tragically killed. Investigators said the gun was registered to Gaskins, who was also the nine-year-old's legal guardian. The woman told investigators that the handgun was her personal weapon and that she stored it on the floor of her bedroom closet, the release states. She added that her grandson had access to her bedroom, where he often watched television. A search of Gaskin's home yielded two boxes of 9mm Luger ammunition, an empty magazine, and one empty gun box, according to the Baltimore City State Attorney's Office. Because of his age, the nine-year-old cannot face criminal charges in connection with the fatal shooting. According to Maryland Law, CBS News reports, Aaliyah Strotter, Strotter's sister, was one of many loved ones who shared a victim impact statement at Gaskin's sentencing hearing this week, saying, My sister was innocent, according to the Baltimore Banner. She did nothing wrong. Brandon Mead, the attorney representing Gaskin's, called the fatal incident a horrendous tragedy and said that his client believed the gun was unloaded, the Baltimore Banner reports. You're dealing with a 55-year-old woman who has had no prior incidents, no prior interactions with the police department, no convictions, nothing, attorney Meade said, per CBS News. He reportedly plans to file an appeal. According to state attorney Bates, this case shows the deadly aftermath when people are careless with firearms. I hope the Strotter family finds healing in today's sentence, he said.